hey, we probably don't know each other, so, uh, let's fix that. I am MikuXLukaLover22, but I also go by a couple other names. Ice, Autumn, Flower, and Fairy. Yes, like the grand blue one. Shut up, I was 15, god damn it. And I just wanted to make a silly little video about a game that might have saved my life. Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Wait, wait, wait. Um, r r wrong one. <clears throat> Blaze Blue Central Fiction. In case you don't know it, Blaze Blue Central Fiction, or as it's more commonly referred to, BBCF or CF, which I will be calling it for the duration of this video, is a 2D 1v1 fighting game developed by Arc System Works. You might know them for their work on Guilty Gear Strive, Dragon Ball Fighters, or for some ungodly reason, DNF Duel. <laughs> Why would you know it from DNF Duel? I, I, my condolences. But anyways, CF is a four-button fighter, kind of like King of Fighters. As with most fighting games, you have your light, medium, and heavy attacks. But Blaze Blue is special, because the D button is your character's unique drive attack. For example, Ragnar's drive heals him with every attack that has this effect on it, and it will recover a set amount of health with more drive moves in a combo, increasing the amount he heals. It can lead to some I I interesting interactions. But just to show a few other characters off, Hazama can use his chains to close in on the opponent, or to just fly around the stage if he wanted. Mew13 can put down drones that she can either send a laser through or have them home into the opponent. Okay, so uh, originally I accidentally wrote poop nent here and like even now it, it's still really funny to me. I'm sorry. Platinum can use their drive to conjure a random item that's displayed as an icon above their meter. Although, if you're shaking Platinum, you probably hate yourself. And Izanami can enter a different stance, where she primes her little diamonds here, and removes all startup from her special moves that use the drive button, at the expense of not being able to block in this stance. But enough about that. I'm mostly using this video as a way to just talk about something that I hold very close to my heart and potentially get others interested in it. I found Blaze Blue through a funny Terumi montage one day, surprisingly, and this was back in 2020, so everyone wasn't exactly in a good mental state. But I got curious, and the funny snake man just scratched that itch, you know? The only fighting game I'd have played before this was Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and Trust me, despite its issues, that game will be getting a video someday too, don't worry. That game is special to me in more ways than one. But CF is just one of those games that I boot up, grab a couple friends, and just play. A lot of other fighting games have this issue of not being fun to play with friends at times. They're either not the most fun to watch, or and I can't believe I'm making two references to this game in a video. DNF Duel's case. Not even fun to play. But Blaze Blue, it's just a very engaging game to both play and watch. Like, hell, I rarely watch gameplay when I'm not playing with friends, but it can be hype as hell. Even if it's two characters I don't particularly like. For example, I was watching one of the CF side tournaments at EVO with a friend over Discord, and we watched a set of Carl vs. Tager. Carl Clover is one of the game's two puppet characters. By pressing or holding the D button in a certain direction, he can manipulate his doll named Nirvana to do different actions all while he himself is free to move. This means he has the ability to sandwich you between himself and Nirvana, and is able to create some absolutely disgusting high lows and, even in some rare cases, unblockables. And then we have Iron Tager, the resident grappler of the game. You know, kind of like Zangief or Potemkin. He has no dash, air dash, or even a double jump. 
but that doesn't mean he can't get in. His gimmick is his magnetism. Anytime he hits an opponent with a drive move, he inflicts them with static. Now, if he charges certain moves, the opponent is pulled towards him. This can lead to some uh, interactions that may or may not be dubious. But the reason why this matchup is so interesting is because Carl has so many options to completely invalidate Tager and keep him at a disadvantage, while Tager also possesses the tools to keep Carl at a disadvantage. Carl may have the ability to keep Tager full screen if he wanted, but then he has to pay attention for if Tager decides to throw his big static ball projectile that, if blocked or hits, inflicts Carl with static, and now Tager can pull him in. Or Tager could just overwhelm Carl with his insane amounts of armor and the threat of being command grabbed and potentially losing 40-50% to 50 of his health. It's things like this that I love about Blaze Blue. Regardless of the matchup and regardless of the players, there's never a dull moment when spectating and there's certainly never a dull moment when playing. And I could go on for hours about how much the Bullet and Terror Me matchup is awful. It's awful. I hate it. It's so bad. Terami loses this. But that might just be because I still suck it over the... Holy shit. 373 hours as, as of recording this. I have no idea if it's going to be higher at the time of editing. I'll make sure to add a little bit here if it does, but... Christ, I need to go outside. But anyways, I know this was kind of short, but this is my first time really making a video like this. I'm just eager to talk about things I like, be it a random niche JRPG platformer or fighting game or even something about that damn blue rat that I love oh so much. I love to talk about my interests, and I hope you enjoyed listening. I hope this video was interesting to you, be it while you were eating, studying, or even if this random link came on after you fell asleep. I know some people do that. I do it. <laughs> I, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And if not, then I hope you have a wonderful day. The next video like this I do should be either about DMC Devil May Cry, yes, the one from 2013, or something Sonic related. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed whatever you were eating, or have a nice sleep. But if you did neither of those and just watched the video, then I thank you. Bye bye Hey there, I just want to thank you for, you know, clicking on this funny little video that I decided to make one night uh, sleep-deprived at about 3 in the morning. Um, I've wanted to make videos ever since I was about 10 years old, so back in like 2011 I guess. Fuck, actually, I'm 19. God damn, I forget how old I am. <laughs> but I just, I just wanted to make a small thing, just talking about a thing that I enjoy. I know that you probably don't fully understand it, or hell, you think this anime shit's weird, and you know, my little goober that I've thrown up on the screen a few times during this video and is probably on screen right now looks kind of dumb. And honestly, if you think that way, I can't blame you. Some people just are into it. But genuinely, I do want to thank you for watching. This is I meant to make a video like this a long time ago. But, you know, I kind of lack the motivation to do things. Like, just, just writing this script took me three days, and this video is probably not even longer than ten minutes. If it is, I'll be surprised. But, um, the next video, whenever I make it, if it's about DMC Devil May Cry, I'm definitely going to just... It's probably just going to be a mix of gameplay from, like, my Son of Sparta playthrough and Bloody Palace for most of it. While I, you know, talk about... And random foot cutscene footage, too. I do gotta... You know, I'm recording this before recording anything for the Blaze Blue video. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to record yet. Uh, that'll be fun when I eventually do. But if it's something Sonic related, it's probably going to be not Frontiers, since I don't think I'd be able to get enough footage 
of Frontiers to make the video interesting since, like, Update 3 came out. And, like, Update 2, too. Uh, or Update 2 as well. Uh, I'm not I'm not deleting anything of this recording. You get to hear how awkward I am when I talk. But ever since, like, Update 2, uh, the performance for Frontiers has been really bad. Like, I don't know what Sega did, but they kind of killed... Like, it's a poor implementation of Denuvo. But, like, I don't know. Uh, I could... I could make a video talking about how much I love Sonic Adventure DX, but, like, I don't know, why would I do that? <laughs> I could make a video about Sonic Generations, or I could just say fuck it and make a video about Sonic Battle. Or, who knows, maybe I'll make a video talking about why I actually enjoy Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, and why Sonic Forces is a worse game. Anyway... As I said before, before I started doing this unrecorded, or unscripted, nonsense ramble thing that's going to be over four minutes probably, I hope you had a wonderful day, and I hope you have a wonderful day after this. I hope you have a nice sleep if you're sleeping, or if, plan or if you plan to go to sleep after while watching this. Or, you know, if you ate food to this, that's pretty fucking cool. I eat food to YouTube videos all the time. Um, I know this is gonna sound, like, cheesy and corny, but, like, you know, if you liked the video, go ahead and press the like button. The button glows when I say like button. Please, press the like button. Or, if you want to see more or any random-ass clips that I do end up recording, um, check out my other shit. Uh, it's mostly just random clips of random shit that I've done over the last, like, three years since I started uploading things. Like, two, three years. But I do plan on making more videos like this. Um, the scripting process was kind of fun. I, like, kind of laid out in, like, parentheses, like, what kind of edits I should use. But it made reading this really hard, so I might just, like, bold the text that I'm reading and supposed to say in the future so that it's actually like easier for me to read through because I would just I just highlighted it and then clicked into audacity and then read it the highlighted text and it was like a really annoying process but yeah if you want to like talk with me like just you know I'll respond to as many comments as I can if I get any if the algorithm blesses this video I promise you I'm not going to enjoy if this video gets blessed by the algorithm, especially with my rambling that's probably longer than the main video itself, but I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye